The Earth's magnetic field is really an interesting thing to study. The Earth has several fields. These are invisible fields. It has a gravitational field. You cannot see it. When I drop these keys, you cannot see the gravitational field that's attracting it. You can't see the electrical field. Electrical field produces electrical storms. Could be involved some in the production of the northern and southern lights. But this chapter we're talking about the magnetic field. You're familiar with the magnetic field, especially in the operation of compasses. If you were in Boy Scouts or went hiking or something like that, you were probably wise to bring a compass along. The needle of the compass points toward the north. It helps you determine direction. Magnetic fields have a strength. For example, they actually lift automobiles by electromagnets. You have some very strong magnets. You have probably played with magnets, have you not? I think it's kind of fun. You probably have played with some that are very strong. It takes quite a bit of force to pull out. On the other hand, some of you have magnets on your refrigerator at home. These are not strong magnets at all. So the strength of a magnet is you know, the pulling force. Well, the Earth's magnetic field has been measured, the force of it, the strength of it. And it has been observed probably longer than most fields scientifically. It's been measured since 1835. A fellow by the name of Carl Gauss made the first evaluation of the Earth's magnetic strength. And he has found, and others have found, and they've been measuring that since 1835, they've found that it is decaying faster than any other worldwide geophysical phenomenon. In fact, they haven't been measuring, of course, long enough to determine exactly, but at the period of time they have determined, they feel like it is decaying in half about every 1,400 years. Now, if you extrapolate backwards, that means that 1,400 years ago, the magnetic field was double. You go back 2,800 years, and that would be four times the strength. You go back 4,200 years, and it would be eight times the strength, and so forth. Now this limits the age of the Earth because they feel like if the Earth had been even 20,000 years old, the Earth couldn't have survived. This is a graph of what the magnetic field would have been like if it decayed in half every 1,400 years. Well, you can see, go back to about the time of creation, it would be about 20 times the strength that we have now. And if the Earth was 6,400 years, it'd be like about 65 or so time. That would cause some real problems. Can you imagine if the magnetic field was so strong and you'd be chopping wood with an iron axe head and that was so magnetically attracted to the iron that as you chopped down, you'd be spinned around from the North Pole? Or could you imagine a steel metal ship not being able to head south because the magnet field would be drawing it? Well, the real problem apparently is the heat that had been generated. So many physicists have concluded that the Earth could not have stood the magnetic field if it had existed 20,000 years ago. So it, this produces kind of a limiting age to the Earth as far as they're concerned. How do evolutionists explain this? Evolutionists say, well, back then, then the Earth must have reversed its polarity. The North Pole became the South Pole, the South became the North Pole. No scientific evidence at all for that type of idea, but they've got to come up with some explanation. So I think the reduction and the decaying of the Earth's field gives evidence of a young Earth.